Hiya, this is about velocity bidding, which is something that really you do in Vegas. And the reason people do it in Vegas is Vegas has a really good speed ramping interface, and Premiere's isn't as good. The old Final Cut, Final Cut Studio before it turned into FCPX or whatever it's called now, that had really great speed ramping with keyframing. And Premiere was always behind on this. So probably if you're if you've been bidding in Premiere, you've probably been doing rate strips. So you just like um put this on the timeline. You probably got really good at going through just with the razor and just making like a little speed ramp. Right, just great stretch, great stretch, probably slice, and you always, you always get that little jump, <laughs> you have to pull it in a bit, right? Which is fine, I'm not saying don't do that. But I'm saying that since, I don't know, CS6 or something, actually, there's been speed ramping on the timeline in Premiere. It's not it's not great, but if you can turn it on, turn on video keyframes and um, FX badges, this little thing here, this little FX, you control click on it and open, you've got time remapping, gives you this line here, pressing command, you drop a keyframe, so you're doing really a similar thing. There's this camera move to here, there, and then you want to do a quick spin round, right? Quick spin round, and that's another spin. It's quite a big spin, that actually, isn't it? to here right you can just move that up to make it go faster the good thing about this is you one you'll get a lot smoother Let's put it up to 1000 and just put a little curve out there not that much of a curve just a little bit of a curve and then pull pull this out It's a bit fiddly. You can do it also here in the. Um, it's even fiddlier here. You can go down. You've got the controls here too, and you can pull these out, right? But to be honest, I just do it on the timeline. Right. You might even want to slice it here. Put a jump in. Right? That's it. That's Velocity Video, and that's how you do it in Premiere. Um, there's two ways. The end.